Hello man, hope you're having a very good day. Good weekend and so on. I have three interesting stories here. Ridiculous stories. Funny, yes, and and incredibly ridiculous. So first off, let's begin with this one. Florida cops say a 450 pound man hides drugs under his stomach fat. This guy does look like Boo from Dragon Ball Z as well. But according to a news release, the Volusia, the Volusia County Sheriff, if I've said that right, stopped a vehicle on Friday after noticing that the passenger wasn't wearing a seatbelt. And listen to this one, Mr. Christopher Mitchell told the deputy that he was too big to wear a seatbelt. <laughs> No fat shaming, because that is illegal. The deputy said he requested a drug detecting dog because Mr. Mitchell and the driver seemed nervous. So him and someone else in the car both seemed nervous. Now this man is facing multiple charges because he was found holding 23 grams of marijuana and cocaine under his stomach fat. You know, in a sense, you could understand why a drug dealer would date a, let's say, larger woman. Because he could hide the stash in her folds, look deep into her eyes, and say, Babe, let's roll out. <laughs> That's wrong. I will edit that out of this video. The next story is just as ridiculous because I did not believe this one was real. I had to check from many sources to find out that yes, this is an actual true story. This one's from the Metro, written by Richard Hartley Parkinson. Man sues Apple because his iPhone turned him gay. <laughs> now let's be grown, let's be mature and grown. And it says, a man in Russia has launched a lawsuit against Apple after he alleged that his phone turned him gay. D. Razumilov, if I've said that correctly, wants 1 million rubles or 16,500 pounds after he was given 69 gay coins of cryptocurrency instead of Bitcoin he had been expecting. <laughs> now you see, this is why I did not believe this story. This is, this is ridiculous. This is, <laughs> let's carry on, let's carry on. The money came with the message in English, don't judge without trying, okay. <laughs> he wrote in court papers, I thought, indeed, how can I judge something without trying it? And decided to try same-sex relationships. So, <laughs> this is not funny. This is not funny. This is not a joke. So basically, because this message came with these gay coins, he thought, hey, why not try something new? Try a new experience. Now, I say to try new experiences, but a man is not one of them. <laughs> Apologies, apologies. So let me carry on, let me finish. I can say that after the passage of two months that I'm mirrored in intimacy with a member of my own sex and can't get out. <laughs> I have a steady boyfriend and I don't know how to explain it to my parents. Oh my God. For one, do not blame the phone. You see, I don't think he should blame the phone here, I think this is just the man himself. After receiving the aforementioned message, my life has changed for the worse and will never be normal again. Razumilov has accused Apple of, as he says, manipulatively pushing me toward homosexuality since sending him the gay coins in 2017 and was suing because of the moral suffering and harm to mental health. <laughs> This is not funny, but it is ridiculous, really. He's blaming the phone once again. It's not the phone, sir, it's you. See, some of these things you can't make up because no one would believe you. Some people would say you're lying if you try to say this story was real, if you did not have proof, but my God. And to our final one, again from the Metro, again from Mr. Richard Hartley. Now this one again, you, you do have to wonder, so it goes, man caught performing sex act on cleaning cone at Wigan train station. So a man has admitted to having sex with a cleaning cone at Wigan train station while drunk. I'm trying not to laugh. This is, this is serious. We're talking about mental health here in, let's say all of these stories and drugs. Let's carry on. Trevor Smith, 38, was found in a lift with his trousers and undies underwear around his ankle while thrusting his hips at the cone. 
My god, this man was really working that cone when he was found. Good god. When he was stopped, police noticed a white substance on the floor that was not cocaine. <laughs> Smith from nearby St. Helens admit admitted to police that he was worse for wear and snorted white powder that was given to him by friends to help him perk up. <laughs> Those are not your friends. Those were not your friends. <laughs> Those were not your friends. He was spotted by a worker from Virgin Trains at 9.30 on April 14th who had been asked by a colleague to meet with him at the train station lift. When he got to the lift, he glanced through the window and saw Smith sitting down, getting jiggy with the cleaning cone that was in his lap. And he actually wrote getting jiggy in the article. That's not my words. He called police and by the time they arrived, Smith had mounted the cone and was on top of it, still thrusting. <laughs> So he was really into it, in other words. You see, we can say it's drugs, we can say it's alcohol, we can say it's mental health that would cause people to do some of the things that they do. Or you can just say as human beings that a large number of us are actually crazy, or on a whole, human beings are just crazy in general. But what do you think? Have a nice day. <laughs>